अथ द्वितीय संजय उवाच तम तथा कृपया विष्ट अश्रुपूर्ण कुले क्षण विशीद वाक्यम उवाच मधुसूदन संजय सैद Seeing Arjuna full of compassion his mind depressed his eyes full of tears Mother Sudana Krishna spoke the following words Shri Bhagavan vacha Kutastva kashmalam idam Vishame samupasthitam Anarya jushtam अस्वर्ग्यम अकीर्तिकरम अर्जुन द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हैज सेड माय डियर अर्जुन हाउ हैव दीस इंप्योरिटीज कम अपॉन यू दे आर नॉट एट ऑल बिफिटिंग अ मैन हु नोज द वैल्यू ऑफ लाइफ दे लीड नॉट टू हायर प्लैनेट्स बट टू इन्फमी क्लैव्यौ मास्मगम पार्थ नई उपपद्यते क्षुद्रम हृदय दौर्बल्यम त्यक्तिष्ठ परम तपा ओ सन ऑफ प्रथा डो नॉट ईल टू दिस डिग्रेडिंग इम्पोटेंस इट इज नॉट बिकम यू Give up such petty weakness of heart and arise, O chastiser of the enemy. Arjuna uvacha katham bhishma magham sankhe dronam cha madhu sudana ishu bhihi pratiyotya ni. Pujarho Arisudana Arjuna said O killer of enemies O killer of Madhu how can i counter attack with arrows in battle men like Bhishma and Drona who are worthy of my worship Guru na hatvahi mahanubhavan shreyo bhoktum भैक्ष्यमीह लोके हथकमा गुरु निघव भुंजीय भोगान्धिर प्रदिग्धान इट वुड बी बेटर टू लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड बाय बेकिंग दैन टू लिव एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ ग्रेट सोल्स हु आर माई टीचर्स इवन दो डिजायरिंग वर्ल्डली गेन दे आर सुपीरियर्स If they are killed everything we enjoy will be tainted with blood Na chai tad vidmah katarano gariyo yadva jayema yadi vanu jayeyu yane vahatva na jiji vishamah प्रमुखे नो डू वी नो विच इज बेटर कॉन्करिंग दैम और बींग कॉन्कर्ड बाय दैम इफ यू किल द सन्स ऑफ धृतराष्ट्र वी शुड नॉट केयर टू लिव येट दे आर नाउ स्टैंडिंग बिफोर आस ऑन द बैटल फील्ड धर्मसमूढ़चेताेयस्याश्चित ब्रूहित मे शिष्यस्तेम शाधिमा प्रबंधम Now I'm confused about my duty and have lost all composure because of miserly weakness. 
In this condition, I am asking you to tell me for certain what is best for me. Now I am your disciple and a soul surrendered unto you. Please instruct me. Nahi prapashyami mama panudyad Yachoka muchoshanam indriyanam Avapya bhoomau asapatnam riddham Rajyam sulanam api jadhipatyam I can find no means to drive away this grief which is drying up my senses. I will not be able to dispel it even if I win a prosperous, unrivaled kingdom on earth with sovereignty like the demigods in heaven. Sanjaya Uvacha Yeva Muktva Hrushi Kesham Guda Keshaha परम तपा नयोत्स्ये इति गोविंदम उक्त्वा तूष्णीम बभूवा संजय सेड हैविंग स्पोकन दस अर्जुना चेस्टाइज ऑफ एनिमीज टोल्ड कृष्णा गोविंदा आई शुल नॉट फाइट एंड फेल साइलेंट तमुवा चक्रशि केशक प्रघसन्निव भारत सेनयोरुभयोर्मध्ये विशीदंत मिदं वचह ओ डिसेंडेंट ऑफ भारत एट दैट टाइम कृष्ण स्माइलिंग इन द मिड्स्ट ऑफ बोथ आर्मीज स्पोक द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स टू द ग्रीफ स्ट्रिकन अर्जुन श्री भगवाच अशोच्यानन्वशोचस्व प्रज्ञावादा भाषसे गून अगता नानुशोचंति पंडिता द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड सेड While speaking learned words you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief those who are wise lament neither for the living nor for the dead natve vagam jatu nasam natvam neme janadhipaha na chaiva na bhavishyamaha Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in the future shall any of us cease to be. Dehi no spil yatha dehe kaumaram yau. As the embodied soul continuously passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. A sober person is not bewildered by such a change. स्पर्शास्तु कौते शीतोष्ण सुख दुखदाग आगमापाइनो निगतिस्व भारत ओ सन ऑफ कुंती द नॉन पर्मनेंट अपियरेंस ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस एंड देर डिसअपियरेंस इन ड्यू कोर्स I like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perception, O sign of Bharata, and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. 
ಸಮದುಖಸುಖಂ ಧೀರ ಸೋಮೃತ ಮೆನ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ಬೈ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ಟನಿ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಉಭಯೋರಿ ದೃಷ್ಟೋಸ್ತದರ್ಶಿ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಸಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂಥ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎಂಡ್ಯೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಅವಿನಾಶಿತು ತದ್ವಿ ಸರ್ವಿದಿತ್ ಕರ್ತುಮರ್ಹತಿ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪರ್ವೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟೈ ಬಾಡಿ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಬಲ್ ನೋ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಪರಿಶಬಲ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಅಂತವಂತ ಇಮೇ ದೇಹ ನಿತ್ಯಸ್ಯೋಕ್ತ ಶರೀರಿಣ ಅನಾಶಿನೋ ಪ್ರಮೇಯಸ್ಯುಧ್ಯಸ್ವ ಭಾರತ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಬಲ್ ಇಮೆಜರಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಶೋರ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅನ್ ಎಂಡ್ therefore fight o descendant of bharata yayenam veti hantaram yashchainam manyate hatam ubhau tau navijani to nayam ghanti nahanyate neither he who thinks the living entity the slayer nor he who thinks it slain is in knowledge for the self slays not nor is slain na jayate mriyate va kadachit nayam bhutva bhavitava na bhuyaga ajo nityaga For the soul, there is neither birth nor death at any time. He has not come into being, does not come into being, and will not come into being. He is unborn, eternal, ever-existing, and primeval. He is not slain when the body is slain. ವೇದಾಶಿನಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಯೇನ ಅಜಂ ಅವ್ಯಯ ಕಥಂ ಸ ಪುರುಷ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಕಂ ಘಾತಯತಿ ಹಂತಿ ಕಂ ಓ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಬಲ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅನ್ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಮ್ಯೂಟಬಲ್ kill anyone or cause anyone to kill vasam si jirnani yatha vihaya navani gunhati naropadani tatha sharirani vihaya jirnani anyani samyati navani dehi As a person puts on new garments giving up old ones the soul similarly accepts new material bodies giving up the old and useless ones Nainam chindanti shastrani Nainam dahati pavakaha 
நைனம் கிளேதயோ நோஷயதி மாருதா The soul can never be cut to pieces by any weapon nor burnt by fire nor moistened by water nor withered by the wind Achedyoyam adakyoyam akledyoshoshya evaja nityaha sarvagataha sthanugu achaloyam This individual soul is unbreakable and insoluble and can be neither burnt nor dried. He is everlasting, present everywhere, unchangeable, immovable and eternally the same. Avyaktoyam achintyoyam avikaryoyam uchyate It is said that the soul is invisible, inconceivable and immutable. Knowing this, you should not grieve for the body. Atha chainam nitya jatam nityam va If, however, you think that the soul or the symptoms of life is always born and dies forever, you still have no reason to lament, O mighty armed. Jatasya hi ध्रुवो मृत्यु ध्रुव जन्म मृत तस्मापरिघाथे नोजि अर्घसी वन हु हेज टेकन इज बर्थ इज शोर टू डाय एंड आफ्टर डेथ वन इज शोर टू टेक बर्थ अगेन देर फोर In the unavoidable discharge of your duty you should not lament avyakta dini bhutani vyakta madhyani bharata avyakta nidhanani eva tatra ka paridevana All created beings are unmanifest in their beginning manifest in their ancient state and unmanifest again when annihilated so what need is there for lamentation aashcharyavat pashyati kaschidenam aashcharyavat vadati tathaiva chanyah aashcharyavat chainam சம் லுக் இந்த சோல் இஸ் அமேசிங் சம் டிஸ்கிரைப் ஹிம் இஸ் அமேசிங் அண்ட் சம் ஹியர் ஆஃப் ஹிம் இஸ் அமேசிங் while others even after hearing about him cannot understand him at all dehi nityam avadhyoyam dehe sarvasya bharata tasma sarvani bhuta O descendant of Bharata, he who dwells in the body can never be slain. Therefore, you need not grieve for any living being. Swadharmam api chavekshya navikam pitum arghasi धर्म्याधि 
Considering your specific duty as a Kshatriya, you should know that there is no better engagement for you than fighting on religious principles, and so there is no need for hesitation. Yadruchaya chopapalnam Swargadwaram apavrutam Sukhinaha Kshatriyaha partha Labhante yuddham idrusham O partha, happy are the Kshatriyas to whom such fighting opportunities come unsought opening for them the doors of the heavenly planets. Atha chetva mimam dharmyam sangramam na karishyasi tatasva dharmam kirtim ja hitva papam avapsyasi If however you do not perform your religious duty of fighting, then you will certainly incur sin for neglecting your duties and thus lose your reputation as a fighter. Akirtim chapi bhutani kathayishyanti temyayam sambhavitasya ja akirtihi People will always speak of your infamy, and for a respectable person, this honor is worse than death. Bhayadranat uparatam mamsyante tvam maharathaga Yesham Chatvam Bahumato Bhutva Yasyasi Lagavam The great generals who have highly esteemed your name and fame will think that you have left the battlefield out of fear only, and thus they will consider you insignificant. Avatya Vadamscha Bahun Vadishyanti Tavahitaga Nildantas Tavasamartyam Tato Dukhataram Nukim Your enemies will describe you in many unkind words and scorn your ability. What could be more painful for you? Atova Pratsyasis Vargam Jitvava Hopsyase Makim Tasma Utishta Kaunteya Yudhaya Krita Nishayaka O son of Kunti, either you will be killed on the battlefield and attain the heavenly planets or you will conquer and enjoy the earthly kingdom. Therefore, get up with determination and fight. Sukha dukhe same kritva Labha labho jaya jayo Tato yudhaya yujyasva Naivam papam do thou fight for the sake of fighting, without considering happiness or distress, loss or gain, victory or defeat, and by so doing you shall never incur sin. Yeshate abhihita sankhe buddhihi yogetu imam shrunu Buddhya yukto yaya partha karma bandham prakasyasi 
Thus far, I have described this knowledge to you through analytical study. Now listen as I explain it in terms of working without fruit of results. O son of Pritha, when you act in such knowledge, you can free yourself from the bondage of works. Neha Vikrama Nashosti Pratyavayo Navidyate Svalpamapyasya dharmasya Trayate magato bhayat In this endeavor, there is no loss or diminution and a little advancement on this path can protect one from the most dangerous type of fear. Vyavasayatmika buddhihi Ye kekha Kurunandana Bahushakha Kyanantashya Buddha Yobhya Vasayina Those who are on this path are resolute in purpose, and their aim is one. O beloved child of the Kurus, the intelligence of those who are irresolute is many branched. Yami maam pushpitam vacham pravadanti avipashchitaha vedavadarataha partha nanyadastiti vadinaha kamatmanaha svargaparaha Janma karma phala pradam Kriya vishesha bahulam Bhogaishwar yagatim prati Men of small knowledge are very much attached to the flowery words of the Vedas which recommend various fruit of activities for elevation to heavenly planets result in good birth, power and so forth. Being desirous of sense gratification and opulent life, they say that there is nothing more than this. Vogaishwariya prasaktanam Taya apagita chetasam Vyavasayatmika buddhihi samadho in the minds of those who are too attached to sense enjoyment and material opulence and who are bewildered by such things, the resolute determination for devotional service to the Supreme Lord does not take place. Nirdvandvo nitya sattvastho niryoga kshema atmavan The Vedas deal mainly with the subject of the three modes of material nature. O Arjuna, become transcendental to these three modes, be free from all dualities and from all anxieties for gain and safety, and be established in the Self. Yavanarthaka udapane sarvataka samplutodake Tavan sarveshu vedeshu brahmanasya vijanataka All purposes served by a small well can at once be served by a great reservoir of water. Similarly, all the purposes of the Vedas can be served to one who knows the purpose behind them. Karmani. 
you have a right to perform your prescribed duty, but you are not entitled to the fruits of action. Never consider yourself the cause of the results of your activities and never be attached to not doing your duty. Yoga Sthaga Kuru Karmani Sangam Tyatva Dhanam Jaya Siddhya Siddhyogo Samo Bhutva Samatvam Yoga Ujjate Perform your duty equipoise, O Arjuna. Abandoning all attachment to success or failure, such equanimity is called yoga. Durena Yavaram Karma Buddhi Yoga Dhanal Jaya Buddha Sharanam Anvicha O oh, Dhananjaya, keep all abominable activities far distant by devotional service, and in that consciousness surrender unto the Lord. Those who want to enjoy the fruits of their works are misers. Buddhi yukto jagatika ube sukrita dushkrite tasmat yoga ya yujyasva yoga ka karma su kaushalam a man engaged in devotional service rids himself of both good and bad actions even in this life therefore strive for yoga which is the art of all work karma jam buddhi yukta hi phalam tyatva manishinaga janma bandha vi nirmukta ga padam gachanti anamayam by thus engaging in devotional service to the lord Great sages or devotees free themselves from the results of work in the material world. In this way, they become free from the cycle of birth and death and attain the state beyond all miseries by going back to Godhead. Yadate moga kalilam Buddhihi vyati tarishyati Tada gantasi nirvedam shrota vyasya shrutasya cha. When your intelligence has passed out of the dense forest of delusion, you shall become indifferent to all that has been heard and all that is to be heard. Shruti viprati palna te. Yada sthasyati nishchala samadhau achala buddhi ghi tada yogam avapsyasi. When your mind is no longer disturbed by the flowery language of the Vedas, and when it remains fixed in the trance of self-realization, then you will have attained the divine consciousness. Arjuna Uvacha Sthita Prajnasya Kabhasha Samadhisthasya Keshava Sthita Dhihi Kim Prabhasheta Kim Asita Vrajeta Kim Arjuna said, O Krishna, what are the symptoms of one whose consciousness is thus merged in transcendence? How does he speak and what is his language? How does he sit and how does he walk? Shri Bhagavan Vacha Prajahati Yada Kaman Sarvam Partha Manogatan 
The Supreme Personality of God had said, O Partha, when a man gives up all varieties of desire for sense gratification, which arise from mental concoction, and when his mind, thus purified, finds satisfaction in the Self alone, then he is said to be in pure transcendental consciousness. Dukheshu anudvigna managa Sukheshu vigata sprughaga Vita raga bhaya krodaga Sthita dhihi one who is not disturbed in mind even amidst the threefold miseries or elated when there is happiness and who is free from attachment, fear and anger is called a sage of steady mind. In the material world, one who is unaffected by whatever good or evil he may obtain, neither praising it nor despising it, is firmly fixed in perfect knowledge. Yada samgharate chayam one who is able to withdraw his senses from sense objects as a tortoise draws its limbs within the shell is firmly fixed in perfect consciousness. Vishaya Vini Vartan Te Niraharasya Dehi Naga Rasa Varjam Raso Pyasya Param Drishtva Nibartati The embodied soul may be restricted from sense enjoyment. Though the taste for sense objects remains, but ceasing such engagements by experiencing a higher taste, he is fixed in consciousness. The senses are so strong and impetuous, O Arjuna, that they forcibly carry away the mind even of a man of discrimination who is endeavouring to control them. Tani Sarvani Samyamya Yukta Asita Matparaka Vashehi Yasyendriyani Tasya Pradya Pratishtita One who restrains his senses, keeping them under full control and fixes his consciousness upon me, is known as a man of steady intelligence. Dhyayato vishayan pumsaha Sangaste shupajayate Sangat sanjayate kamaha Kamat krodho bhijayate While contemplating the objects of the senses, a person develops attachment for them. And from such attachment, lust develops, and from lust, anger arises. Krodhat bhavati sammogaga 
సమోగాత్ స్మృతి విభ్రమగ స్మృతి భ్రంశాత్ బుద్ధి నాశో బుద్ధి నాశాత్ ప్రణశ్యతి from anger complete delusion arises and from delusion bewilderment of memory when memory is bewildered intelligence is lost and when intelligence is lost one falls down again into the material pool ragadvesh viyuktaistu vishayan indriyeshcharan atmavashyai విధేయాత్మ ప్రసాదం అధిగచ్చతి బట్ అ పర్సన్ ఫ్రీ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ అటాచ్మెంట్ అండ్ అవర్షన్ అండ్ ఏబుల్ టు కంట్రోల్ హిస్ సెన్సెస్ త్రూ రెగ్యులేటివ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రీడమ్ కెన్ ఒప్టెయిన్ ద కంప్లీట్ మర్సీ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ ప్రసాదే సర్వ దుఃఖాన ప్రసన్న చేతసోహ్యాషు బుద్ధి పర్యవతిష్ఠతే వన్ దా సాటిస్ఫైడ్ ఇన్ కృష్ణ కాన్షియస్నెస్ ద త్రీ ఫోల్డ్ మిజరీస్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ నో లాంగర్ ఇన్ సచ్ సాటిస్ఫైడ్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ వన్స్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ ఇస్ సూన్ వెల్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ నాస్తి బుద్ధి అయుక్త నయుక్త భావనా నయత శాంతి అశాంత కుత సుఖం వన్ హూ ఇస్ నాట్ కనెక్టెడ్ విత్ సుప్రీం ఇన్ కృష్ణ కాన్షియస్నెస్ can have neither transcendental intelligence nor a steady mind without which there is no possibility of peace and how can there be any happiness without peace indriyanam vicharata yanmano nu vidhiyate tadasya harati prajna As a boat on the water is swept away by a strong wind even one of the roaming senses on which the mind focuses can carry away a man's intelligence Tasvadyasya mahabago nigrhitani sarvashaka yudriyani ఇంద్రియాగ తేర్ఫోర్ ఓ మైటీ ఆమ్డ్ వన్ హూ సెన్సెస్ ఆర్ రిస్ట్రెయిన్ ఫ్రమ్ దర్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఇస్ సర్టన్లీ ఆఫ్ స్టడీ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ యాషాసర్వూత జాగర్తి సమ్యమి యాగ్రతిభూత సానిషా పశ్యతో మునే వాట్ ఇస్ నైట్ ఫర్ ఆల్ బీంగ్స్ ఇస్ ద టైమ్ ఆఫ్ అవేకనింగ్ ఫర్ ద సెల్ఫ్ కంట్రోల్ అండ్ ద టైమ్ ఆఫ్ అవేకనింగ్ ఫర్ ఆల్ బీంగ్స్ ఇస్ నైట్ ఫర్ ద ఇంట్రస్పెక్టివ్ సేజ్ ఆపూర్యమాణం అచల ప్రతిష్ఠం సముద్రమాప ప్రవిశంతి యద్వత్ తద్వత్కామా ప్రవిశంతి సర్వే సశాంతి ఆప్నోతి న కామ కామీ A 
person who is not disturbed by the incessant flow of desires that enter like rivers into the ocean which is ever being filled but is always still can alone achieve peace and not the man who strives to satisfy such desires विहायकामान यस्सर्वान पुमाम चरति निस्पृहा निर्ममो निरहंकार सशाति अधिगछति A person who has given up all desires for sense gratification who lives free from desires who has given up all sense of proprietorship and is devoid of false ego he alone can attain real peace yesha brahmi sthiti partha nainam prapya vimukhyati sthitvasyam That is the way of the spiritual and godly life, after attaining which a man is not bewildered. If one is thus situated, even at the hour of death, one can enter into the kingdom of God.